Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Backbone file. Where we last left off, we had played the majority of the prologue. Um, a lot of it was the same as the demo. Um, we got our job from uh, Odette Green to find her to find evidence of her husband cheating. We then got into the bite, um, talked to some of the patrons, including Renee and uh, Clarissa, the owner, who kicked us out. And then we found our way back in using the uh, truck and the intercom this time. Um, so yeah, today we're going to, to to continue exploring more of the bite and hopefully get on to new stuff. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay. Laundry room. The bar is just behind that door. Maybe I could sneak behind that angry bouncer to the second floor. Okay, let's go ahead and crouch. Lift. Freight lift going downstairs. Needs a turnkey. 30 pots. Doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't I wouldn't eat here even if they didn't kick me out. Okay, open the door. And then let's go on upstairs. Yeah, be sneaking by any further, I would have for sure been seen. Whoops. Press control to crouch. The enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jez must be there. Alright, so we got dudes. Nope. Okay. Let's keep going. Is this the room we want? Private room. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. Painting. Green hat. There's a green hat. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? Green hat. Green must have been here. Now, where's the rest of them? Herbs. Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. <laughs> Why did they name the drug monkey butt? Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. What the? A secret lift? I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Let's go ahead and go in. Okay, let's go ahead and crouch. Open door. No going back now. That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning here? Okay, let's go ahead and open the door. Okay, I do remember this. Let me go ahead and crouch, please. Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Cork board. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop your I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Took honey. <laughs> so tab? So, that rosy thing is not in here. So is this going to become about like trying to find Rose, maybe? The intercom... Door... An open vent. I could fit through it if I crouch. I'll try to get through this as quick as possible. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guy with the big knives. It smells delicious, though. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just to get things moving, I'm going to go ahead and use the intercom now. There's an intercom connected to other rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions close by. Okay. 
dial the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? That's Greg. No, I'm not making you a snack. I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. Pineapple on pizza? Are you crazy? Wait, who is this? Don't go anywhere. Hang up. I think somebody's coming. We'll go ahead and uh, avoid them. Go ahead, go ahead and use the mixer. And then will we need to use this mixer as well? I don't think we will. Open door. Some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Inspect locker. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so okay, so we have things we can click and drag. Yeah, this would not work on controller at all. So I'm glad I switched to mouse. So we have... Let me just make sure I have this right. So five is diamond. Uh... We have this be it? No, this one. One is triangle. Circle is four. Is there something I'm missing? Oh. Square circle. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. Is this something? No. Oh, this is something. Okay, so the code is zero, four, five, one. Whoops. Note. Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. 0451. Freight lift. Maybe it's my ticket out of here. It seems to need a turnkey. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get through this as quick as possible to get to the new stuff. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Let's go ahead and crouch. Anything on this side? No. I am glad, I think, I might be mistaken, but in the demo I believe you couldn't interact with some things if you weren't, if you were crouched. You had to stand up to interact with it. I'm, I'm glad that so far everything I can interact with while I'm crouching as well. lights oh my fucking what it's a naked dead otter what the fuck the corpse offers you no answer this is just green I found him the pieces fit it's Odette's green it's Odette's green and Odette green's husband lying here if I had to ascertain the cause of death the body shows no obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight office otter. Maybe they overdosed him? The body lies there still. It is there, dead, probably murdered recently. Sniff the body. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne, held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough, I'm going. New objective. Escape the bite. Somebody is coming quick, I have to hide container oh boy Greg here no I'm still working on a cut uh, okay coming So 
Sorry, Jez. Even if you even you didn't deserve this, nobody does. Key. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Hopefully. I'm glad I'm staying crouched. This is quite scary. Well, not quite scary, but like, you know. Upstairs? I'm staying crap. What the heck? Okay. Use the lift. And now I can get out. Okay, so this is where the demo ended. Before. So this must be the end of Act 1. I'm surprised they put the entire first act as the demo. But I guess it makes sense. Okay, so what is next? Achievement unlocked Act 1. Act 2, Connection. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. They were butchering him. To dispose of the body? Or something worse than that? <laughs> no, that's crazy. People don't eat people. They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Every time I close my eyes, I see him lying there. So this, this must be right after. What the fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked. What am I going to tell Odette? How about the truth? Oh, I'm going to lie to her? I like the sound of the like trickling in my right headphone. <laughs> um, I guess if I'm going to be lying anyway, just drag it out. Sam's still looking for him. Or the truth might be too harsh for her. Um, I mean, she might be in danger. Drag it out. Sam's still looking. I have no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. The truth might be too ha harsh for her. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. Fuck no, Howard. Um, I'll just call her and wing it, or lie, tell her he ran off with someone. I don't want to lie to her. I'll just call her and wing it, I guess. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why Jez? What did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I have a duty to do something, but what the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa Bloodsworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. I could... Hmm... I have no evidence of this. I could go back, get some evidence. I was lucky to make it out alive the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? I should tell the police. Is that really going to work? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. 
No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into pi private property and I'd like to report a butchering. They'd probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. Yeah, I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask me. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. <laughs> well, don't do that. I'm a fucking coward. Oh, it's empty. The expressions and, like, the movements are done really well. Fuck this. New objective. Figure out what to do with my life. The burning park? Wishing well. Someone has been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. There's a guy over there. Park plaque. A figure with their tail chopped off. Weird. Remember the Great Fire. The Great Fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges, whole districts destroyed in the war. Shit. Maybe we deserve to burn. What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. They do? Uh, cue to close. Guess I'll die here. Looney? You really neck that juice, friendo? Rough night? More than I thought possible. Wow, that bad, huh? That bad. Whatever happened, you may as well make your peace with it, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> this is all, like, very bleak um you don't know what you're talking about and i don't need to i guess i just don't know what to do no one's gonna tell you friendo eh can i ask you something sure as long as you take it nice and easy i got a calm spot going here how did you end up here Got injured at work. They let me go. What was the job? Worked at the big print works down in Gastown. Do you miss it? Listen, friendo. Society is a cheap trick. Better get out before it makes you a complete sucker. I can trick it right back. I'd love to be proven wrong. Bring me a drink when you do. We'll toast to your success. I'll hold you to that. Well, thanks for listening to a washed up guy's ramblings. If we ever end up under the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. What's wrong with drinking and crying together here? <laughs> it's not the right vibe. I'm not staying here long anyway. Gotta keep moving. You seen those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I seen them. Those are streety symbols. Not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. What do the plaque ones mean? That's not safe here and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. You know what kind of cult? Dunno, the usual. Some charismatic leader and ritual excuses to get naked. My guess is they're almighty shepherd deniers. Cults are so... F Why do people need an excuse to get naked? Cults are so fucked up, man. It ain't that simple. Even cults have their upsides. 
We all need companionship and something to believe in. Hmm. Well, I guess I can see the logic. Different people need different things. All there is to it. I'm not sure what I need. I don't want to get into it, friendo. I got today. I got today to deal with. I didn't mean to harsh your vibe. I hear that. Hmm. My name's Howard, by the way. Mine's Looney. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice to pass the time with a new face. I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh, hey again. I better go. Okay. So I guess this is just like a homeless park. Lilac bush. Has that same herbal stink to it that... Ugh, no. Uh... Hey, pussy boy. Let's have a little chat. What is that noise? <laughs> It's like bottom right headphone. Cut to the chase. Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for your new friends? Hmm. Oh, fuck off. Say that again. Come on. You guys aren't exactly great conversationalists. You what, mate? Leave me alone. You got somewhere better to be, pussy boy? I give you loons, you fuck off. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now, time for Pain City. Hmm. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay, that wasn't... Did they, did they knock me out with two blows? Hi, Renee. Okay, Howard Lotor. We're safe here. You can relax. You relax? I'm not... Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. What about? All right. Let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I'm researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power, f on power and influence I'm working on. How did you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wondered what madness you were up to. Yeah, I was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, bingo. A puking raccoon. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Glad you found me. Let's hope it was worth my while. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy. A rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Tell me more about the book. I'm studying different forms of power and investigating who really holds the most influence in the city. That's a worthy cause. I'm glad you think so. I could make a difference this time. No one really has really done this work before. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile high visitors to the Bight, and more. 
Visitors? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been up there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I suspect as much. There's no way Bloodworth isn't getting involved with them somehow. With some of them somehow. No such thing as simple drinking with those kinds of folks. So you're some sort of Bloodworth expert? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What's she like up close? Smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Is she pushing drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. <laughs> it's a stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends, then they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue, which for some like which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me. Like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? Um... I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? Yes, that'd be nice. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. I start from the beginning. On your way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? I was looking for someone. A lead on a case? Client confidentiality. Are you serious right now? I shared some sensitive information with you. Do me the courtesy of trusting me, Howard. Hmm. I do, just not with everything. Well, that's hurt. Well, that hurts. I just wish you would tell me the whole truth. But please, continue. I got into the bite, met Clarissa, she threw me out. Yeah? What did you say to her? Just had a small talk. She thought I was lying. Hmm. So you got back in somehow? Yes. And that's when I found a dead body. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her. But this? Why? Maybe she eats them? I don't think so. Someone else might. No wonder you puked. Damn, what the fuck? I don't know, Renee. I don't know shit. Okay, wow. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? I've got to get my shit together. Exactly. Then, what's our plan? Since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. Oh, no. Since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something I couldn't, and you owe me one. Hmm. 
I trust you too. Thanks. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. A partner could be nice. <laughs> My smarts, your stubbornness. Dream team. Hmm. Let's try, I guess. Excellent. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? <laughs> eh, sure thing, boss. Turn the kettle on. Hmm, which tea would Renee prefer? Hmm. Me, personally, I would go for the hibiscus flowers. Um, I don't know what she would... I think I'll go for the hib hibiscus flowers. Gentle, subtle, and my favorite. I don't know how to feel about her. Time will tell. I'll watch closely. Maybe I deserve a friend. She seems curious, smart, and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. Put on the kettle. Coming right up. Boxes. You just moved in? I don't live here. It's my, I don't live here. It's my safe space. Corkboard. What's out the window? Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Take a look at the corkboard. I have a slimmer, similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. And that is the sound of the kettle. Turn the kettle off. All right, making some tea. I wonder if it, this probably doesn't matter, but it might lead to different dialogue depending on which tea I chose. Hibiscus, my favorite. Thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Way ahead of you. Oof. <laughs> uh, ow. <laughs> So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the Bite Alley? Yeah, and I had to dig around. You think of what I'm thinking? No, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> that a glass of Starling Cider would be nice right now. The truck smuggles the flesh away. All right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? What if you told me why? I had seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. You followed it, didn't you? I tried, but I'm no expert at tailing stuff. I am a writer, not a fighter. So you have no idea where it goes after the bite? Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. But not exactly? No. My informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the Bite Alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be in Gastown tomorrow? Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. This is so weird. How would I know where to look? There are many shops. Look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's some good detective work, Renee. Thank you. It's a needle in a haystack, but that's all we have for now. It has to be done. Yeah, this is our only lead, basically. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. Clarissa could be tracking me. You 
already compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You've got nothing to lose. Hmm. Oh shit, I have to call my mom. <laughs> I'm not judging. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown while you're at it? I've got a man for that. Be right back. New objective. Figure out where the box of flesh are ending up. Track down the fake Starling Cider truck. Key for the freight lift and Oh, I kept that key. Interesting. They're gonna I wonder what they're gonna be doing with that. Prominent family leader's death ruled as tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clemens and father Cl and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. I feel like I should know which ape this is, but I'm drawing a blank. Probably one of the top dogs, which doesn't narrow it down by much. Yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. Renee's got her own investigation board set up. At least one of us is organized. A butcher shop, right in downtown Granville. Ugh, don't think I could go back there if I tried. Hmm, noodles. Maybe I should... No, stay focused. Eyes on the prize, Howard. Unrelated to the case. I wonder what her editor is like. Interesting. Nothing out the window. Oh, the phone? Who are you going to call? Let's go ahead and call mom. Hello to our residence. Hey mom. How are we? What time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Mom, I'm fine. I'm just checking in. You don't call for weeks? Then you check in at then you check in at 5 a.m.? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Do you need money? I have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Sure, a job. I just worried about you. What do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Ma- I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me, because- Maybe later. I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when you- when I die. Mom, I love you. Aw, Howie, I love you too. Don't sit, skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye bye, baby. <laughs> Who are you going to call? I guess I'll call Odette. Hello? Od Odette, this is Detective Lotor. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Lotor, my husband didn't come home tonight. Could you see him? Did, did you see him? Um. Hmm. Let's see, which would be better, to try and keep her out of this case or to let her know how much danger she's, she's actually in? I'm gonna say, um, I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined. So please, Mr. Lotor, put me out of my misery. Um... Filing a missing persons report, if I'm not telling her that he is dead, this could put her in danger. I need more time. I got nothing yet. How much time? I can't live like this. I need assurances. I'll let you know as soon as I find anything. Bye, Odette. But, please, wait. Aw. That's really sad. Anatoly. Although she might she might do something drastic on her own then. Totally. Totally. It's Howard. You sound very awake. Ha <laughs> ha. Howie. 
You think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. You free today? For you, always. What's hanging? <laughs> is it a pear or a peach? Um, what was I saying? Pick me up at today at nine? I'm paying for the day. You bet. Aoi and Dorley, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Grime lords, beware. Anatoly, please remember to put some clothes on. You the boss. Big day pay. I wear a I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No, one second. Renee, what's the address? I tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks. Dolly, 1640 Alberni. You know it? Yeah, in the docks. Wait, Aoi, who's Renee? Who is she? Tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Hang up. Hang up, I guess. I'll talk to Renee. Okay, so start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? What should I do when I find where it's going? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite, and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Hmm. Hmm, client confidentiality. I mean, Odette has nothing to do with this. We're investigating Clarissa. Got it. I need a nap. You can stay here as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to stay? No. Call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. Interesting. I think she is trustworthy, I don't, but I don't know what to think of her. Oh, we got some uh, cutscenes, so what's the case? You know, I can't tell you, but this one can make a difference, I think. Ooh, love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. H-O-W-A-R-D. It's not about my name. And the name of your partner stamped just underneath it. T-O-L-Y. <laughs> Here we are. Gas Town. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. Looks can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go on and bother folks, and I'm gonna get some quality and a totally chill time. When's your truck coming? Soon, I hope. I'll be here, but it'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot, and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Gas Town. Alright, so we're in a brand new area. So, new objective. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. Figure out where the box of flesh are ending up. Track down the fake Starling Cider truck. Furniture store. I need a new couch. Or any couch. A liquor stop, that could probably be good. A bookshop. Sean. A deli shop. There's a lot of shops I can go into. Jeez. Doc. Is that how far is that Bo? Okay, no, it's Mo. <laughs> no shops for the van to deliver to that way. Okay. I just want to really quick see what's on the left and right before I go in go actually go into anywhere or talk to anyone so we got the electrical store a bookstore a liquor shop that's probably where i want to go what's off to the right a hotel i can see what this is i'm going the devoe den hotel not for the likes of me 
Lily? Is that the cat or something? Ginger. There's a lot of people to talk to. Jeez, feed pigeons. Big clock. Grandfather Steam, watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. Oh, I can call Renee from here. Harold. Clean queen. No point in moving away from the high street yet. Everything in Gastown has to be clean, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and feed the pigeons. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was a thing that happened. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to everyone out on the street first, and then we'll visit the shops. Good after Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons doing? They are good. Thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. How long have you been feeding them? I can't. I come out here every day. Have done for the last five years. And I must say, I enjoy the peace and quiet. Sure you don't want some company? My feathered friends are company. Doesn't the conversation get a bit one-sided? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. Enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning, an emptiness. Solitude is space to be yourself. To know yourself, to love yourself. And which are you feeling? I am solitudinous. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who could be solitudinous with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet, with an interesting story. Noted. It was pleasant meeting you. Good day, young sir. You too. Bye. Interesting. Let's go ahead and talk to Lily, I guess. Gotta smoke. I'm all out. Then go buy some. Bye then. Okay, so if I give her a cigarette, she'll talk to me. Let's talk to Harold really quick. No, oh, I can run, I forgot. <laughs> hmm. Now, uh, but where did... <sighs> you okay there? Oh, no, don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember. Hey, take your time. Yes, thank you. Most young people have no patience. Now, if I dropped it here... What did you lose? I dropped my ring. Blasted, slippery thing. Sure you dropped it right here? I think so. Through this grid, I think. I lost my keys like that once. I had to smash in my window. These grates. They should have nets. So irresponsible. I know, man. So it just slipped off your finger? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without even realizing. Could you have dropped it elsewhere? I suppose. But I thought I heard a clink. Want me to look around? I may not be in my prime, but I need that ring back. If I can get down this manhole... Too dangerous, and it could be miles away by now. What if I forget about Irma? Who? My late wife. My only love. The ring was precious, but you'll always have your memories. You get to my age. You learn that's not true. There are times now where I realize it's been days since I thought of her. Are you very lonely? you have any family? No. Just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with. Feed the pigeons, do the crossword, you know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm. So, I must be able to find his ring somewhere then. Is 
So he needs his ring. She needs a smoke. This is really interesting. The writing is pretty cool. I feel like... Do I want to go in here? I guess. Tuna? My friend, I am Jordan Tuna. I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead, press it, do it. Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old. Very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry on average 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not objective facts, they can also change over time without you noticing. Staring at yourself in a mirror is not healthy. At one point you were the youngest person to exist. When you drink from a cup, a little bit of your spit goes in the cup and that's gross. <laughs> the color you see in the dark is called intrinsic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. There is always the last time you see anyone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to en wait. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. Because of unfortunate repetitional semantics, a poo-poo is most is mostly less offensive than a pee-pee. Okay. Teeth are edible. One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. That's bleak. Having a headache is generally considered a, a symptom of leading a very, very sinful life. You can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. How many of these are there? You can't extend short things. You were once a baby. Paying rent is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. You were born alone, you, were di you will die alone. Goodbye. Trout Talker. Achievement unlocked, Trout Talker. Uh, interesting, okay. Well, I just blew up his fish. Back to the shop? Something tells me I can't go in there. Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. C can you, could you come back later? Okay, so this is probably who I'm looking for. I don't want to go... Don't want to do that yet. The bookshop? Poochie, huh? Welcome to Poochie's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide. But we do have the Gourmand Galavant around Gastown, if you're interested. I'll pass on that one, thanks. Yes, it's a bit tasteless. Pun very much intended. You been here long? I've been running this store for 12 years. Took over from my mama, Shepherd bless her memory, if not for her shelf organ organizing system. You going to sell books till you die? I certainly hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. How's business been? People still reading still? Enough to keep me in business. Not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen. To say nothing of standards in literature. I like books. And you're easily pleased and always welcome here. <laughs> oh, you got these things with pages and words? Sir, this is a bookshop. What are you in the market for? Hmm. Got anything by Renee Wilson? Hmm. An M rings a bell? Oh, the young fox writer? I got her book right here, yes. What's her book called? An Introduction to Systemic State Power Dynamics. Not the catchiest. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't. Quite an achievement to even get it published, and she did well not, to s not sounding hysterical. But you're about the first person to ask about it. She's young? 
Yes, a debut at 25 years old. Really quite unusual she managed to get it published. Enough about Renee. Something else I could help you with? Got something on the apes. Ah yes, our glorious leaders, whose treaties I am mandated to stock. Obviously I have plentiful copies of the apes, ape codex right here. Anything else you could recommend? I hate it when people ask me that question. Do your own research. Develop your own taste. But aren't you the expert? Yes, forgive my outburst. I'm sure you are you're genuinely curious, but most, most folks just consume a mindless diet of cultural zeitgeist. Well, what's been pu recently published? Recently? Love is in the air and kill me if you can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about the philosophy of lockpicking. What's the one on lockpicking like? It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work, and what we can learn about life from them, but of course it goes deeper. Ah, cool. Can I buy one of these two books? Can care to be at least the bare minimum more specific? Kill me if you can sounds thrilling. Three loons if you're sure. Hmm. I want to buy Renee's book. Yep, I want it. There you go. Treat it well. Let's move on from the book top talk. Anything else I can help you with? Bye for now. I hope I don't have limited money. Okay, that was the bookstore. Oh. Uh, we're gonna, I should get that, that, I should get to that liquor shop quickly. Oh, I can't talk to anyone else anymore? Dang it. I want to talk to more people. It looks official to me. Impressive. Wait, can I seriously not talk to anyone? I wonder if they have the ring. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Oh, whoops. Uh, can I talk to the people now? No, okay. Hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Do you sell Starling Cider? Of course, my friend. But if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, and blueberry-infused varietals. But I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Ah, uh, well, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. If you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, uh, I really, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to, uh, take inventory and, uh, there's book kit, there's bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Lewis? Something wrong? Sir, this is my shop. I won't be... Harang What is that word? I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Now please leave. Purchase now please purchase something or leave or leave immediately. Hmm. I mean either way it's gonna sound super suspicious. Let's just go with this one. In truth, I'm a journalist. A few questions and I'm gone, okay? A journalist? 
There's nothing... But if it'll make you happy, and leave me alone... You got any buyers for those crates? I... I mean... I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but... You know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You're not going to get me drunk. I just... I like to share my own brews, that's all. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to sell only sell my own brews, but sadly there are people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... then... Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? It's just a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar, The Bite, I think it's called. You ever met her? No. Gosh, she's not the kind of person you just run into. I know about the flesh, Lewis. Now I need your help. Sir, please. I don't know what it is you want to hear, but the shop is my life. It's the only thing that matters to me. I can help you, but not if you don't talk to me. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there was something... Nobody will know. I hate Bloodworth. You'll be safe. This isn't just about me. If it was, then maybe, but I'm sorry. Please understand, just leave me. Someone has got to stop Clarissa. Help me. Her? You'll just make things worse. Lewis, I'm investigating Clarissa. I got your back. I suppose. If you found a way to the storage area after I dropped this key... I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. I have unfinished business here. Okay, and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and see what's in the storage area because it just occurred to me that I don't know if it auto-saved. So we're going to go to the back of the shop. A crate. It's a closed wooden crate. Inspect it up close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along each edge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess on the side. Lever up the lid. With a little, eff with a little effort, the lid pops out from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages, individually wrapped in thick, silvery paper. Sniff the packages. The silver, the silvery paper has a chemical tang. The rest of your olfactory observation is filled up with the musty basement smells of a damp, of damp and old cigar smoke. Hold the puking on her package. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. The flesh is light pink with a with a striated texture. Sniff the flesh. <laughs> Intoxicating scents, sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. Fuck this, I've seen enough. So you saw it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. I really, genuinely wish I could believe you. You can. Believe me and leave, and we can all go back to the way things were before. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But... If she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. 
What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, ask, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys, boys to deliver the crate for her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Ba... Baihua. It's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down her address for you. It's my head if Bloodworth, if, if Bloodworth hears of this. You she could is safe with me, I promise. Thank you for understanding, and for listening. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate had conspired against me. But did you try and fight fate? I thought of everything. This was the only option I had to protect the ones I love. What does Clarissa have on you? It's just... Why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She's paying the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive how? Alea is ill. Too ill to work. Needs medication for life and it's expensive. The doctors. With Bloodworth, the meds are paid for and never late. Thank you, Lewis. I have to go now. Go? What are you going to do? I'm going to stop Bloodworth. I don't think you can. And if she's not that bad, she does a lot of good. I s and she's not that bad. She does a little, a lot of good, I swear. You do your job. I'll do mine. Just please, swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't live in fear. You have my word. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Sure he does. Like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is this Baihua expected delivery? Expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I... you can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me... if it gets back to me, Leia... This won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. I... fine. I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. Tonic for the soul. Achievement unlocked. Take them. On the house. Crates get delivered by someone called Baihua. Find out who she is. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. Good luck, Lewis. I should call Renee. No, there's people. I can't talk to anyone anymore. Well... I guess, uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and end the episode for today. It's very interesting. Closed. I hope I didn't miss my chance to talk to all those people, but who knows, really. Um, but yeah, very interesting episode. I'm very, I'm really glad we've made it past all the demo stuff. Um, Renee is a super in interesting character, and I'm looking forward to seeing where this story goes and where the like characters go in terms of like Lotor and Howard and um, Renee and all of them. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the next part of the file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.